Hello, my ABT students. Now, we're going to create a coordinating envelope here. We already have the letterhead done, and it tells you to make sure it's still open on your screen. Okay, so mine is still open on my screen, and if yours isn't, then open it up so that you've got it. And uh, now, this time it says, save it as your name, and we want to call it an envelope, but it's going to be a template. Okay, so file save as and we're going to go to your U drive and now we're going to change the name here and we want to say leave letterhead there don't take anything just space bar and go envelope okay envelope and uh, now it's going to be a template if you think you might get mixed up then I'm going to tell you to put in the word template just so that you know. But you've got to make sure that you choose it here. It has to say word template. And now you'll see nothing because you haven't got any templates there. You've only got docs. So make sure that you say word template. All right. And this means then we can use it many, many times. All right. So save it. Okay. That piece is good. So now what we want to do is that we want to go to the mailings tab and uh, you've been here. No, some of you won't have been here before. So go to mailings for me and go over here to envelopes. Okay. And don't crash. Okay, there. My envelopes have come up. And now it said um, you see that you've got envelopes selected. That's what we want. And uh, now there shouldn't be anything in this delivery box, okay? So if there was, you would delete it, but there's nothing. Now, if a, um, in the return address box here, if there's anything here, then you would take that out also. And um, now, do you see where it says omit? We don't want the return address. So put a check mark in here to say no return address, omit it, all right? And now click the options button. Okay, so we want to go to options here. And we want an envelope. And today, practically the only size you use is number 10. So you don't have to change anything there. That's just fine. To leave it there. All right, so now you're going to say okay. And it says we want to go to add to document. Okay, so add to document. So say add to document. And now I'll go to view here. Uh, one page just so you can see it and you see the envelope is above your letterhead okay so that's what you're going to be creating you're going to be creating a letterhead or pardon me an envelope now using the material from your letterhead all right so what i want you to do is we are going to go and get this first one is the text box with worldwide event planning so click on the frame make sure you've got it go control c and now you can go control home or scroll up it doesn't really matter um, to you so just click here that's fine and go control v now it came in horizontally as you would have expected it to all right so what we want to do is we want to rotate it okay so go to format and you're going to go to rotate and say rotate left 90 degrees all right, now we've got it. You could have used this to rotate it also, okay? And now it's too wide for what we have. And um, all right, it asked me to set the shape height to 0 0.5. Well, it's pretty close to that, but we'll make it exact, 0 0.5. And it says put the width to 3.0, okay? 3.0 and press enter there. And where did you fly to? Oh, great luck. Okay, go control Z. Okay, I'm going to tell you to size it down this way. All right. Because words got too fickle there. And our text is too large. All right, we're supposed to put it down to... So click on the frame so the frame is solid. And then when the frame is solid, you can just go to home and make it size 14 that you are supposed to make it there all right okay so now we want to move the text box so that it is down here about here I would say would be good 
All right, I'm going to make it a little bit skinnier here. Okay. All right, so now there we are. We've got Worldwide Event Planning Incorporated. Let's save your work right now. Go Control S to save. Next, it tells us to go get the global image. So we're going to click on the global, Im global image. Go Control C. Okay. And now go up here and go Control V. All right. So we've got the global image. I'm going to move it out a little bit. And can I still see incorporated? Let me see here. I want to bring this um, down a bit. I don't want to there. Okay, I'm going to size my box down a little bit more. All right, I think I'm far enough away from the picture that I'm okay. Then the next thing it says is go down and get this text box. So click on the frame, go control C, come back up here and we'll click about here and go control V. All right, so now I'm going to move my text box over a little bit. Pull this up a little bit higher. Now, it told us to take out, um, only keep the two lines in there of the address. So we're going to take out the email and the phone number. We're going to delete that. So delete it. Now, size this box up so you just take up the room of what you need. Okay? And I think that can come there. I'm going to show, take off my show and hide for a minute here. Okay, that looks pretty good. I've got the event planning coming down here, the address coming here. Now, I maybe could move this a little bit, but I don't think any closer, and that one's not any closer. Okay, I'll put my show and hide back on. Now, this paragraph symbol is really important. Don't you delete it. Look at here. It's a text box, and it's for the delivery address, who the letter's going to. If you delete that, you won't be able to put in the letter address. So never delete that paragraph symbol, no matter what. All right, so now I want you to um, leave your cursor right there, and you're going to put in, just put in a square bracket, and you're going to type in, type address here. Type, and that's just telling people so they don't delete it address here all right and then square bracket and i see here i got a curly bracket so i'll fix that square bracket <coughs> okay so type address here and that's all you need to complete your envelope all right so let's go down there's your letterhead let's go to view multiple pages and you should be able to see and that's why that page break is there because the envelope is a page by itself and there's your letterhead now, when you looked at one page, obviously it showed you everything on one page. If you look at your multiple pages, then you see your envelope and you see your letterhead. All right, that's good work, okay? So I'll go back to multiple, no, oh, pardon me, I'll go back to one page. And now, go Control-S to save, and we'll stop here.